Hey folks, today we're going to do some comparisons on a couple of brands of canned beef. Hang on. Orlando Prepper coming at you. Like most of you guys out there storing up your food, uh, it's been kind of hard to get good canned meat lately because it's just either off the shelf or it's way too damn high. But during my last trip to Wally World, I found a product. It's called Hereford Roast Beef. Yeah, you can buy it offline or you can buy it in the store. But I wanted to compare that to the Great Value Roast Beef since, you know, this is usually there. There's usually a couple of cans of this, at least, you know, five or six cans. This one is starting to show up locally here in Orlando, so I wanted to try it out. So let's get started with that. First one we're going to do is, uh, first listen to this. This is the great value. Hear that sloshing around in there? Now let's try the Hereford. A little bit, but not much. What we're going to do is open these cans up, see what they look like inside, taste them, and see how much meat you actually get in each one of these. Okay, we changed the camera angle here so you can kind of see what's going on. First thing we're going to do is open up this, this great value. We've got some bowls here and a fork so we can give them a taste test. So let's get rocking here. Pepper's, uh, Prepper's best friend, Pop Top. We don't have to have that can opener in storage. But when you open it up, First thing I see, there's a little grease floating on top. A lot of water in there. See, there's a hunk of grease right there. Really don't look very appetizing to me. But let's get all this meat out of here. Comes out in chunks here, you see. More grease. Smells pretty good. Really does. I'm sure you've had some. What we're doing is comparing this to the other, though. So, uh, let's get all that meat out of there. Can said it had 12 ounces of meat in it. So, let's see what we actually have here. A lot of water. See that water? A lot of water in there. Ooh, all right. Now, let's weigh this out and see what we got. Let me tar this empty bowl. Uh, weigh this empty bowl first. All right, we're at zero with that. So whatever weight we get when we put this up there will be the weight of the meat. And we have 3.9 ounces of meat. 3.9 ounces in a 12-ounce can. Let me give it a taste. Mmm, it's actually tasty, it is. It tastes very good. So, we see what we got here. We got some chunks. Whoop, put that back in there. That's going to be dinner later. All right, so, now, let me open this other can. It don't have a pop top. I have to use a can opener. Be right back with you. Okay, as you can see, we got this top off of here. Wow, that smells much better than the, the Walmart brand. And you can see it's thick. It's in more of like that's gravy instead of water. It's kind of like got the consistency of like Daddy Moore beef stew. Um, let's get that meat out of there. See how much we actually have here. We'll put it back on that scale. All right, here we go. Let's get this meat out of here. See what the actual weight is. It's hard to get the meat out without the gravy. It's good thick gravy. I'm not seeing any grease in here like I did with that Walmart brand. And no water. There's no water in this can at all. Man, that's a lot of meat. Oh, wow. There's a big chunk still down in there. There we go. I think I got it all. Yep, got it all. All right. We had 3.9 in the Great Value brand. And this one is 8.0. 
We got eight ounces of meat here. That's over double what was in the Walmart can. You can see the prices right here on these little displays. So let's give this a taste. Man, this actually smells delicious. Oh man, that's grandma roast beef. Oh my goodness, that's good. Yep. Now, if you can find Keystone, it's up to about, I think, $11 a can now. But that's for a 28 ounce can. These are 12 ounce cans. Actually, Keystone per ounce is cheaper. <laughs> that's good. I, I like that. But it's getting hard to find. And when you order it online, you sometimes get your, your order gets canceled. There's just a shortage of it. But between these two, look at the difference. This is the great value. I mean, it's good. It's got good taste. And this is the Hereford. You know, this one's in gravy. This one's in water. The Hereford, by far, is a better deal. And it tastes a lot better, too. So, when you're getting that meat, spend a little extra, get the Hereford brand, you won't be disappointed. No, I'm not making a penny on this. I'm doing this for you guys. So, I think we proved our point. I'm going to get out of here. Go get me some of them 30-year shelf-life potato flakes. Make me up some mashed potatoes, roast beef, and gravy. Oh, yeah. Orlando Prepper is out.